And now to an important CBS4 consumer alert for you. A showdown between the nation's major airlines, the FAA and AT&T and Verizon, appears to be cooling tonight after both telecom giants agreed at the last minute to pause a portion of their 5GC rollout on Wednesday. CBS4's Skylar Henry has details. AT&T and Verizon say they're delaying the rollout of their 5G service near some airports amid concerns the signals could interfere with airplanes. In a statement, AT&T said, we're frustrated by the FAA's inability to do what nearly 40 countries have done, which is to safely deploy 5G technology without disrupting aviation services, and we urge it to do so in a timely manner. When it comes to safety, there's no calendar. You get it done, you get it done right, or you don't do it. Many airlines have warned the 5G service could interfere with the altimeter on many aircraft. The FAA lists 17 systems that could be affected, and it says the pilot may not catch those errors in time to maintain safe flight and landing. The CEOs of the major airlines all signed a letter warning that the new 5G services near airports could force them to ground half of the flights, resulting in major travel delays. You know, we've got every stakeholder that keeps the airplanes safe, the airlines, the manufacturers, the pilot unions, even on the mechanic side, the engineers saying, hey, slow down. The White House says it's working with AT&T, Verizon, and the airlines to solve the issues. We're committed to reaching a solution around 5G deployment that maintains the highest level of safety while maintaining disruptions, while minimizing disruptions to passenger travel, cargo operations, and our economic recovery. Phone companies have spent tens of billions of dollars on 5G, which brings much faster internet services and greater connectivity. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia. Now, President Biden issued a statement thanking AT&T and Verizon for delaying the rollout near key airports around the country while continuing the new 5G service in the rest of the nation. He also said expanding 5G and promoting competition in Internet service is a priority of his administration.